Hey everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange. We are going into the classroom today. You don't Make have anything to take to tell us. So, so, so. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like this. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Okay. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure. No time she'll to talk, Max. Art in progress. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to me. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Can I kind of... I hate them both. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Hmm, okay. Well, I already took a look at the printer, so I'll just... Probably something will happen. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. It really is. Oh no, go away, I don't like you. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. I guess Kate will miss class now. Speaking of participation, I'm worried about her. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> Dismissed. 
That's just what school's like. See that? Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh no, don't tell me she's trying to kill herself or something. Kate! Oh god. No! Oh god. <gasps> I, I have to do something to help her. Not again. Not now. No, don't! I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. What do I have to do? What can I do to help her? Oh my god! birds Okay Can I go in here? Oh my god. Don't want that to happen. Yes. Kate, don't. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Matt. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. 
Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Uh, father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. <laughs> See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. No. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. 
and then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Go away. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Guys, I really have to say, this was a very intense episode. I have to confess that I have tears in my eyes because this really, um, this really touched me. Seeing people being that sad and that depressed hurts me. It always hurts me very much, even though it's a computer game, but... It always, it always hurts me. So guys, we just finished episode two, a very intense, very interesting episode, um, and I really want to go to that topic again, because I know what it feels like to be lonely, I know that everybody of us is lonely, that everybody feels lonely, 
that we all sometimes feel like we are different because we love computer games, because we love to dive into other worlds, because sometimes the real life is tough and computer games are giving us so much fantasy, love, they give us they show us things that could be and we can live through them actively by playing them and because of that there are a lot of people out there who say that we are weird that we are freaks but actually I think that we people we computer nerds are actually the ones who really know what dreaming is who really know where big feelings are and we are the ones who do know what friendship is because we all are connected to each other I mean look at YouTube I have 4,000 subscribers right now and this is 4,000 people I can't even imagine them being here somewhere I mean this is a whole village actually um, and this is people I meet and this is people who enjoy what I do and this is by computer games. Um, so actually no matter what, you see you are not alone, no matter where you are. YouTube is a tough place because you always meet weird people, but there are so many good people out there and never forget that they are there and never forget that they will be there for you because there are so many people if you just tell them that you don't feel good you will be impressed how many people there are who are actually going to ask you why what's happening can I help you they don't have to be there physically they can be there in their thoughts they can be there over the internet I mean so how to say that we are computer nerds, gaming nerds, however you want to call it, but we are a community. We have our voices, we have our videos, we have our games, we have our conventions. If there's ever a person in this world who says, you're a lonely, freaky computer nerd or something, just smile, because you do know the truth. You do know that there's a community out there which is so big that those people can't even imagine that. So, yeah, never forget that. We are all together. We are all connected. We are all here. And I want to say again, if you feel depressed and sad and lonely, just take a look around and see how beautiful this world is, how colorful, look at the art, look at all the things that you can do, even though you're in, even though it's a moment where you might feel weak and you think that nothing can change, but things change so fast, you don't even have to do anything about it. Um, never do the jump because there are so many good things going to happen so many interesting things it's only a small thing like when you see here in this game it's little friendship you, you don't really have to know each other it's just that you you can meet someone you can just talk a few words and you do know right away there is a connection um, it's, it's very amazing what this world can do and what people can do. So never give up. Write that somewhere on, on a piece of paper. Put it into your, your um, thing where you put the money in. What's the word for that? The money thing. <laughs> put it in there and if you feel bad, unfold it and see when you're that you've written never give up on that thing 
then just remember all those good things, all those people who are there, and you will stretch their hands out to just take yours. The only thing you have to do is stretch your hand back. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will shut up now for the rest of the credits. I think it's not much to come, so we will see each other in the next episode with the next uh, season thing, which will be number three. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.